Assalamu alaikum everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. So this is perhaps the final good luck video that I'm going to make. And uh, I will inshallah post a video tomorrow asking guys how your exam went. But before we get into that, let's talk about what is it that you need to do in the last couple of hours. So first of all, uh, as always, pause this video, do a quick stationary check, make sure that you have your pencil, scale, eraser, sharpener, uh, calculator. If you have two, that's great. If not, then don't lose your mind uh, trying to arrange a second calculator. One calculator is good enough, okay? And also make sure that before you start the paper, you reset your calculator, that's very important. Okay, now, uh, we've talked about all the topics that you can expect in paper two. Okay, I made a detailed video about it. Uh, if you haven't seen it, there's nothing to worry about uh, because at this point, uh, it's, it's probably too late, but I, I'm pretty sure you've seen it, okay? So, just make sure a couple of things that I want to say is that uh, since tomorrow's paper is gonna be a calculator-based paper, so as I mentioned, before you start, make sure that you reset your calculator, make sure you read the question carefully. So the topics that I'm anticipating that are going to be in tomorrow's paper, uh, I've, like I said, I've talked about it in detail, but uh, I'll just name a few easier ones. And this, I'm, pretty, I'm strictly talking about variant two. So I'm expecting maybe simultaneous to be there. I'm expecting binomial. I am expecting, uh, there, there are a whole bunch of topics that I'm expecting, but I'm just trying to highlight the easier ones. Maybe there's an easier question on arithmetic progression. Maybe there's an easier question on quadratics. Okay, so if you find all questions of all these topics that I've mentioned easy or any other topic, if you find questions easy, doesn't matter whether they're lengthy or not, make sure that you attempt them first. Okay, remember, you have to get your confidence level high before you approach the more difficult questions. And also, just because a question has a lot of marks, does not necessarily mean that it's going to be a difficult question. It could be that the question has a lot of marks because there are a lot of, uh, uh, there's a lot of working required, but it's fairly easy. Maybe uh, since area under the curve hasn't been tested, maybe you can have a question with area under the curve. So just make sure that you identify the easier questions and you attempt those first, okay? Now, when you're solving the paper, in some cases, it always helps to make a rough sketch. Like for example, if you're solving a quadratic inequality, so make a rough sketch of the quadratic curve before you write down the final answer. If let's say you're solving a question where, like we did in the last mock, where you have to find out the area formed by the tangent, the normal, and you know, stuff like that. So it's always a good idea to make a rough sketch. Now, even when you're making a rough sketch, try and be as accurate as possible, but again, not Pinpoint accurate that you start using your scale and you know, making it correct to the nearest millimeter, that's pointless. But just try and make sure that if a line is supposed to be upward sloping, it looks like an upward sloping uh, line because it will give you a better perspective. And if you have a better perspective, you will understand the question better and you're more, you're more likely to answer it correctly as well. Now, there are a lot of uh, cases in which um, you can use your calculator to check your answer. So you can do that for quadratic equations, quadratic inequalities, simultaneous equations, area under the curve, um, and, 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 and um, you can find out the gradient of the curve at any point. Okay, so... All these you're going to use, but you're only going to use them to check your answer, okay? Emphasis on the word check. And also another level of checking that you can do if you have time is that, you know, when you've solved an equation, let's say you've solved, uh, you've solved a trigonometric equation. So you can use the answers and you can actually use the answers and plug back into the equation that you've solved to see if the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So this is another level of checking that you can do, which I would advise you to do if you have time towards the end of the, or towards, during the paper or towards the end. But the the normal checking, I would suggest that you do as you go along. So, you know, watch out for sign errors, watch out for identities, watch out for, uh, you know, ident by identity, I mean A plus B, the whole thing square. Make sure you get that right. Make sure you don't make a cal simple calculation error. So for those, you should check as you go along. And uh, read the question carefully. I don't know how many times I've already mentioned that. Uh, especially look for how you're supposed to give the final answer, either whether you're supposed to give it in exact form. If the question is silent, then you have the option whether to leave it in exact form or if you're writing it in decimal form, then make sure to follow the rules. Uh, that is correct to three significant figures. However, any angle in degrees, that's supposed to be correct to one decimal place. That's the standard rule, unless of course mentioned otherwise in the question, okay? So just make sure that you're well aware of how it is that you're supposed to give the final answer. And uh, also you don't end up rounding off prematurely. That is, you don't end up rounding off before you get to the final answer, watch out for that. And make sure that you're in the appropriate mode of your calculator also. So if you're solving a question which is of, let's say kinematics, area under the curve, or small change, then your calculator must be in radian mode. 
okay and for everything else it's supposed to be in degree mode so for so basically all the all the stuff that i'm talking about this is just randomly popping into my head so that's why i'm mentioning it so for example if let's say you're solving a question of uh, kinematics and if let's say the question is asking to find out the distance traveled so remember we see how where at what point the object has turned and we integrate it separately okay if you've seen all my streams i, I so uh, I uh, included a question like this in the mock also, so you would know what I'm talking about. Also, if the question is asking you to show something, then that is slightly different compared to how we're supposed to, uh, compared to if the question has asked us to solve something. So if it's a show question, that means you are not supposed to use what it is that you're supposed to bring it equal to. You're supposed to do it independently of that. And in the end, you're supposed to show that, yes, this is what it's equal to. Okay, and in the end, make sure to write a conclusive statement to make it easy for the examiner. And just be systematic with your working. Uh, always have, an, uh, have a look at the amount of space that you're given before you start. And uh, also, if let's say you run out of space, you can always use the blank page towards the end. And if let's say you get something wrong, you can always cross it out. And if you do that, if you cross it out, then make sure that you mention it on that, uh, in the answer space of the specific question that you've crossed out, that you've solved this on so-and-so page. And uh, another thing that I wanted to talk about, which I think I've now forgotten, but uh, yeah, so don't don't make the mistake of solving the paper in pencil and thinking that you'll have enough time to do it with pen because you will definitely not, okay? It's a two hour paper and the time is way calculated. You literally have no minute to spare. So yeah, that's it. I hope I haven't forgotten anything and uh, I hope all the videos, all the streams, all the, all the content that we made here, good or bad, has helped you in some shape or form. And uh, I, I will inshallah be praying for you guys and I will post a video asking you guys how your exam went. I'll be waiting to hear from you guys. And uh, just remember me, my family, my entire team in your prayers. They've worked day and night to make every live stream, every piece of content possible. So yeah, that's it. That's it from my side. I will see you guys inshallah very soon. So take care everyone. Allah Hafiz.